Support for Radio Friends comes from Homestead Senior Care, providing trustworthy, kind-hearted senior home care services in your loved one's home. All caregivers are thoroughly screened, extensively trained, professional, and reliable. Homestead is all about providing the highest quality home care service to fit you and your family's needs. Plus, if you would be interested in becoming a caregiver, they offer great part-time positions. Give them a call at 573-442-4333 or check it out at homeinstead.com. Good morning and welcome to Radio Friends on Thursday, April the 19th. We're going to talk about um, something I know nothing at all about. We're going we're gonna to learn together, but I found it extremely intriguing. It's called Untapped Shores, and I want to introduce you to Kathy McDougall. Good to have you here, Thank Kathy. Thank you so much for having me. And you sent me an email several months ago, and you kind of outlined, you said, I'd like to come on and talk about this project I'm working on. It's called Untapped Shores. Explain what this is. Yeah, Untapped Shores is a national not-for-profit uh, founded by Elizabeth and Patrick Shores, and they were corporate CEOs. And they took a trip, a safari, to Africa. And what struck them most was not necessarily the amazing animals or the magnificence of the landscape, but the poverty and the health of the children and how the impact of not having clean water impacted generations upon generations upon generations of people in small villages starting off with the children. So Patrick was a robotics engineer, and so he came home and decided that he absolutely was gonna fix this problem. And he designed a tabletop-sized, solar-based water filtration system that produces clean water from salt water. And this little system can actually provide clean water for villages for 2,000 gallons a day. You're kidding. No, this little tiny tabletop system, 2,000 gallons a day. Okay, let me stop you right here. Then. Yeah. Now, so we have this technology yeah. that can provide water, mm -hmm. 2,000 gallons a day, and it's a very small. Tiny. Why are we not using this then to alleviate the water problem that we have across so much of the world? That's the goal. <laughs> That's absolutely the goal. So they take this little system and they start it in Africa, in Uganda, and they bring these little systems into villages and they teach women in the villages to become water entrepreneurs using this little system because they can take the residue from the salt residue from this machine and repurpose it and sell it and may turn it into a commodity as well as the water itself. So they're teaching the women of the villages to become self-sufficient utilizing this terrific little tabletop filtration system. That is mind boggling. Yeah. It really is mind boggling. 2,000 gallons a day I yeah. from salt water yeah. or yeah. can, the, can the you clean use water. any kind of water? Will it clean up? I would guess. I don't know that for sure, to be quite honest with you, but I would imagine that if you can turn salt water to clean water, it would be a general filtration as well. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. So it's just fascinating. So we're very, I was very excited and very taken with the story and very taken with their energy. And so I just got involved so so, uh, so what are you doing now then uh, I am helping to promote with them um, we it's a long story but uh, I was part of an internship an online digital marketing internship uh, with click funnels and we they were on tap shores was one of the not-for-profit organizations that we adopted and we did an online marketing summit with them with 30 of the top online marketers in the world and raised money for them so mm -hmm. we are continuing those efforts with them now, you may have just ignited a little spark in somebody listening mm -hmm. to this program today. How would they, somebody would be interested, how would they get involved with Untapped yeah, Shores? It's untappedshores.org. And, and when you go to that website, what are you going to see? 
how can you how can you be a part of it? Yeah, you can absolutely. Obviously, there's a place to donate. Um, obviously, there is wonderful stories, wonderful stories of women entrepreneurs who this little machine has changed their lives, has changed the lives of the people in their village and their families for generations to come. And you can get in contact with them. Elizabeth and Patrick are absolutely, they're totally hands on. So you can message them on Facebook and they'll probably get right back mm -hmm. to you because they're just that excited and that involved. So how many of these little machines exist? I, I don't know. What a great question. I don't know the answer to that. I know that we, I believe that we raised enough money in the online marketing summit to do a thousand, to build a thousand additional machines. And I believe that they're expanding into Haiti. Their next stop is Haiti. So you're going to parts of the world that really need it. You know, when you when when you you're you're describing the situation that people in Africa and Haiti are living in, we take so much for granted. Wow. We don't we don't take time to stop and contemplate thinking about all of the blessings that we have in our life every day when you see how the vast majority of people live around the world. That is so true. I mean, we can go to our sinks. And turn, and turn on, on the tap of water. And not even think about, is it safe? Is it healthy? Are we going to get disease from it? Are we going to get ill? From we don't even think about that. There, I mean, these women in Africa, miles, they go miles and lug water back to their villages. And it's not necessarily clean water. And water's heavy. I mean, of every, course it is. Every time I see those videos, I'm like, this is water is heavy. I can't believe that these women are lugging these gallons of water miles from the water source to their villages. It's it's remarkable. Oh, we take so much for granted. But just the the uh, desalinization and cleaning of water, this could solve a lot of problems across the world. It, it's absolutely their goal and our goal at Untapped Shores is to do that. How many people? How many people would you say in general are involved with Untapped Shores? You know, they were um, a nice little quiet organization, not-for-profit organization for about six years. And then they got involved with our design institute and our design academy, and it's gone worldwide. So we are in a, in a fast pace, fast growth mode right now, and we're super excited about that. Oh, we I are. can tell just, just by chatting with you. Uh, what would you say when you look to the future, what do you see with this organization? I just see them expanding and expanding and expanding because this is a crisis. This is a worldwide crisis. And there's no other word for it except to say it's a worldwide crisis. It's absolutely imperative that well, we need people water to have survive. clean water. We need water clean to survive. Water. It's, it's, it sounds so basic and it sounds so trivial, but for millions and millions of people across the world, it's not neither simple nor trivial and so their goal is to go to every place that needs it and you know one of the aspects that i particularly love about this organization is that it's teaching the village to be self-sustaining so it gives it also provides an economic engine to that village it's yeah. not just clean water it's an economic engine and self-sustainability so. kathy mcdougall thank you so much for coming by Paul pepper thank you so and much and for sharing untapped shores if you want more information it's uh untappedshores.org dot org and that'll get it and you go to the website and find out all about it appreciate it tomorrow ed varnum will be with us sharing a story and a song have yourself a nice day